Three Studies of Lucian Freud is a 1969 oil-on-canvas triptych by the Irish-born British painter Francis Bacon, depicting the artist Lucian Freud, Bacon's close friend and colleague. Bacon considered this work among his personal favorites, with the three full-length canvases measuring 78 inches by 58 inches each, and are individually framed. Francis Bacon was born on October 28, 1909, in Dublin, Ireland. His family moved often, living between Ireland and England throughout his young life. Bacon, in reference to his childhood, described life as something cold and hard, like a block of ice. He reported multiple times that his father was abusive towards him at an early age, frustrated by his early showings of homosexuality. In 1927, at age 18, Bacon began living on his own, moving between London, Berlin, and Paris. While in Paris, he saw multiple art exhibits, including a 1928 Picasso exhibition at Paul Rosenberg's gallery. Bacon is quoted as saying that upon seeing Picasso's work, he thought to himself, well, I will try and paint too. Bacon's first painting to attract public attention was 1933's Crucifixion. The painting hinted at what would become Bacon's signature style, with rough brush strokes and an intensely dark background. Unfortunately, it was not well received, and disillusioned and frustrated, he abandoned painting for nearly a decade and suppressed his earlier works. By 1944, Bacon had gained confidence. His three studies for figures at the base of a crucifixion had summarized themes explored in his earlier paintings, including his examination of Picasso's biomorphs and his interpretations of the classical crucifixion. It is generally considered his first mature piece, and Bacon regarded his works before the triptych as irrelevant. The painting caused a sensation when exhibited in 1945 and established him as a foremost post-war painter. Remarking on the cultural significance of three studies, critic John Russell observed in 1971 that there was painting in England before the three studies and painting after them, and no one can confuse the two. Bacon continued working with more proficiency than ever before, making some of his most well-known pieces, including 1946's Painting. Over time, Bacon made more connections within the art world, befriending artists and dealers alike. Bacon enjoyed painting the people he knew best, including his friend and artistic rival, Lucian Freud. He painted Lucian Freud several times, but this 1969 triptych is the most well-known. In Bacon's typical abstract and distorted style, the three panels show Freud sitting on a wooden chair within a kind of geometric cage. Freud is sitting with his legs crossed, appearing very relaxed in his posture, even though his face is obscured and unclear. The color choice for the backdrop is unusually bright for Bacon, typically choosing darker, moodier tones. Behind each figure is what appears to be a headboard of a bed, originating from the set of photographs of Freud by John Deacon, which Bacon used as reference. Bacon and Freud's relationship grew more competitive over time, and this piece is seen as Bacon trying to prove himself to the other artist, as opposed to a friendly homage to a close companion. Bacon's brushwork is in full force in this piece, using a loose hand and highly abstract eye to capture the figure, particularly on the flesh and faces. On the 12th of November 2013, the triptych sold for 142.4 million U.S. dollars at Christie's New York Auction House, becoming the most expensive work of art ever to be sold at auction at the time. The triptych was lent to the Portland Museum of Art for brief public display and has been in a private collection ever since. Francis Outred of Christie's Auction House describes the 1969 triptych as a true masterpiece and an undeniable icon of 20th century art.